I recently described how leap days are necessary because one orbit around the Sun is not exactly 365 days. But did you know that the days themselves are not exactly 24 hours? The time it takes for a single rotation of the Earth is inconsistent. And while this wasn't a problem back when we told the time using the Sun, such as with sundials, these days we use atomic clocks, which are incredibly consistent. Thus, in order to keep the morning hours in the morning and the night hours at night, we need to employ leap seconds. Generally, this change is handled behind the scenes with computers updating the time automatically. But not all computer systems are designed to account for such inconsistencies, which can cause large disruptions in applications that require precise timing. This is compounded by the fact that the need for leap seconds has been increasing. It's predicted that by the end of the 21st century, we will need a leap second every 250 days, and we will need two leap seconds a year by the end of the 22nd. Making matters worse, since 2020, the rotation of the Earth has been speeding up, meaning we may soon, for the first time ever, require a negative leap second. This is why, in 2022, the General Conference on Weights and Measurements adopted a resolution to modify the Coordinated Universal Time Standard, UTC, to abolish leap seconds by, at the latest, 2035. So, enjoy those extra seconds while you still can.